We're going to do a mail merge onto envelopes using Microsoft Word 2019, which also works with Office 365, as well as Outlook. And it doesn't matter what version of Outlook you have, this will work with uh, all of them. So in my Outlook, we see contacts, and I see five contacts. Now, you might have hundreds or thousands of contacts, but this is just for our demonstration purposes. So if we minimize this, and we don't have to have Outlook open if we don't want to, but it does make it go a little faster if you do. Now we're going to go to where it says mailings. And I know you'd want to click on envelopes, but don't do that. Just click on start mail merge, and then click envelopes. Clicking envelopes is more of a one-off rather than doing it from a list of users. Make sure you choose the right envelope on the front end, because if you have to change it later, it kind of messes up the formatting on the back end. Make sure you measure the length and the height of your envelope and choose that here. And then next we have the delivery address. Choose the right font and the right size font that you want and then click OK. I'm just going to choose the default for both the delivery and return, but you might decide to do something different. And then on the uh, formatting, as far as where the return address and the delivery address goes, just leave it as it is because it won't matter uh, because we're going to be making changes to where we want to have this going forward. So click OK. And now you can see it automatically filled in a name for me. So I'm just going to put in my name information. I'm not going to put in my address, but we'll put in this fake address, which is fine. So this is where you put your return address. The next thing we want to do is put in fake information about where we want our delivery address to go. So I'm just going to put John Smith. Now, if you're also needing to put in country, you can put in that on the next line. I'm just going to leave it as is since most people won't need to make those changes. Now we need to select our recipients. So we'll go to choose from Outlook contacts and it'll be pulling from our list that we saw earlier. And we see the contacts list. Now I only have one contacts list, but many people have multiple ones. So choose the correct one. If you make a mistake, just go back and choose the right one a second time. All right, there's my five people on the list. I can select them all or select specific ones, whatever I want. Whichever one is checked will be selected. As far as the refined recipient list, you can sort by alphabetical, you can filter, you can find certain recipients if you'd like, validate addresses. Uh, what I like to do is click on find duplicates. So if you have a lot of people in your list, you're likely going to have more than one person who has multiple uh, recipient contacts in there. And you're going to want to uh, pull some of those out or fix them so that way you don't waste a bunch of envelopes. So now that I've got my contacts set up the way I want, I'll click OK. For our next part, we're going to need to click on the Insert Merged Field area and match up to our fake name and address here. So I'm going to click on and select using my left mouse on John. Now I'm going to click on Insert Merge Field and choose First. There we go. Now I'm going to choose Smith. And then I'm going to go up to Insert Merge Field and choose Last. Now, if you have a title, you can do that as well. I'm going to go on to the address, and I'll choose the Insert Matched Fields, and go to Address. Then I'm going to go to the City. There we go. State. Unfortunately, those are all right together, which is great. And Zip Code. All right, so that's all been replaced. Excellent. Now we can click on Preview Results, and it'll pull the information from our Outlook's contacts. And there it is. Now you can see I made a little mistake here. I did not select the period after the state, so I'll just go ahead and delete that. And that'll remove it for all of my different recipients. So you can see at the top, this is my fifth recipient. So if I scroll backwards, we can see the different names and addresses in my list. So now that I've got my return address correct and I've merged all of my Outlook contacts, uh, this is pretty easy. I can click on Finish and Merge. Now if I click on Print Documents, it'll just go right to the printer. But I may want to make some additional changes, so I'll click on Edit Individual Documents instead. I'll choose All. And it looks like I just opened up the exact same document, but what this lets me do is now go to File, and print 
And now I can make some additional changes. I can make changes such as the collation, uh, orientation, page size, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, once I've got that exactly the way I want it, for instance, I don't want it to go to PDF, I want it to go to my other printer, then I can click print, and then I can insert my envelopes, and then it will start printing the envelopes. So that's how you do mail merge using Outlook contacts onto an envelope using Microsoft Word 2019.